Do you know what sugar cane juice does to blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Welcome to the first episode of the highly requested summer drink series, where I am having one glass of freshly made sugar cane juice or ganne ka juice. This is 300 ml sugar cane juice, should be around 250 calories. Let's see what happens. Normally, I have it with masala, but for this video, I'm having it plain. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 75 mg increase. Do you see that? This is officially the highest glucose spike across all the food and drink items I've tried till now. Can you believe it? This has even beaten pancakes with maple syrup because that had increased my blood sugar levels by 74 mg. This is slightly higher. I guess this is what happens when you drink liquid sugar because I did the maths. 100 ml of sugar cane juice has about 3 teaspoons of sugar. And since I had 300 ml sugar cane juice, that's 9 teaspoons of sugar. That's a lot. For comparison, when I had one glass of fresh orange juice, my blood sugar levels had increased by 42 mg, much lesser than this. This happened because orange juice has less sugar as compared to sugar cane juice. About 2 teaspoons per 100 ml versus 3 teaspoons per 100 ml. Plus, I had less quantity also, 200 ml versus 300 ml. Since I absolutely love sugar cane juice, from now on, I think I'm going to have less of it, about 200 ml. That should bring down the spike a little. Plus, I'll try and have it after a meal and not on its own. That should further bring down the glucose spike. 